Item number, SCP-789. Object Class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. All physical telephone and internet connections have been removed from SCP-789. The property is to be examined weekly for the appearance of new connections. If any are found, they must be severed immediately. Wi-Fi damping equipment is to be kept active on the property at all times. In addition, a security network over the surrounding three kilometers is to be monitored for the arrival of potential civilian prey items. Class B amnestics are to be applied and individuals are to be returned to their homes. Once monthly, one Class D with a history of child abuse is to be released into the structure housing SCP-789. D-Class previously scheduled for testing with SCP-204, SCP-2672, and SCP-3530 have been used historically for this purpose. Non-Class D personnel working with SCP-789 are to be subjected to psychological screening. Unfit personnel are to be reassigned. Description SCP-789 is an entity which resides within a well-kept, if apparently abandoned, three-bedroom, two-story house located in the outskirts of North Dakota. Foundation databases contain no records of unrelated abnormal events in the area's history. No anomalous materials have been located in the house's construction. When the house is connected to an internet connection, SCP-789 will manifest first as a working desktop computer with webcam, controlled by a pubescent child. The entity will spend several hours a day utilizing internet chat programs, contacting and interacting with adult civilians within the continental United States. SCP-789 appears to target pedophiles, fabricating complex yet believable stories, and utilizing video chat programs to lure and gain its contacts trust. SCP-789 seems to be able to keep track of detailed information for several dozen contacts at once, and has not yet been recorded using the incorrect form while interacting with a familiar contact. Over the course of several weeks, SCP-789 will attempt to convince select contacts to come visit. Upon arrival, Prey individuals are invited into the house by the humanoid component of SCP-789. Usually, the prey item is led into the kitchen or bedroom. The entity appears to manifest basic furnishings for the rooms used in a given hunt. Once the prey item is made comfortable and sufficiently distracted by the humanoid component of SCP-789, non-humanoid components are crushed into a fine slurry. SCP-789 will soak the slurry into itself, then vanish. Upkeep of the property is apparently performed by SCP-789 as well. The entity will manifest as one of two middle-aged adult humans. Henceforth, SCP-789-B. These two forms appear to serve as decoy parental property owners and will entertain guests if required to. Interaction with these manifestations has revealed no information as to the nature of SCP-789. All conversation regarding behavior described above is met with polite silence. Upon assault, SCP-789-B will vanish and not appear again before the assailant. The appearance of these particular manifestations never change between encounters. The nature, intelligence level, and origin of SCP-789 are unknown at this time. As SCP-789 has an obvious capability to understand and utilize the English language, research regarding possible sapience is pending. However, it is not suspected at this time that SCP-789 is, or ever has been, human in nature. Addendum 789-1CV it has been discovered that the forms SCP-789 utilizes while seeking prey items correspond to those of children of the appropriate ages that it has encountered online. For this reason, testing has been suspended until a more easily controlled method is devised. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-788.
Magma Carp, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.